Hi, hi, it's Eva and Zalara Pence. Today I want to talk to you about the amazing food at the Hyatt Zalara Riviera Maya Resort. Just got back, had a great time, and tried lots of different things. So I'm going to share with you all the different items that we ate, show you pictures of them. And at the end, I'm going to tell you my top items that you really must try if you're going to this resort. So let's go check it out. So for breakfast, you can head to the main buffet where they have all kinds of different items, a great variety, changes every day, as well as made to order food stations, Mexican coffee, and lovely mimosas. Or if you want something a little bit different, you can head to Lola Beach where they have an a la carte menu. This is for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And here's the QR code. So if you want to scan that, just pause the video and then you can see what the current menu is. Now, as you can see, this is open air, so really nice and refreshing. Great on a hot day because you do get a breeze that blows off the ocean. But if it's a little bit cooler of a day, you may want to bring a sweater with you because it can get a bit chilly or just grab a beach towel and wrap that around you. But those beautiful views of the ocean or the pool, depending on where you're sitting, and they offered a bunch of different rolls to start with, either sweet or savory. And then I ordered the Mexican Benedict, which was absolutely delicious. Of course, a mimosa to go with it. I mean, you've got to, right? I like my eggs soft and they were absolutely cooked to perfection. And on top of this crusty roll was absolutely delicious. We also tried the mariachi eggs, which came in a nice sauce. This is the outdoor sitting area at Lola's. So you tell me, look, Lola Beach is the proper official name, but I mean, I just call it Lola's because I mean, look, they're going to play Copacabana once and it's going to be like, her name was Lola and that's going to stick. So you tell me in the comments, what do you think? Should it be Lola Beach or should they call it Lola's and make it a little bit more fun? And back to the video. So this is the outdoor sitting area at Lola's. This is more casual dining out here. You've got burgers, sandwiches, and some delicious looking flatbreads or you can sit on the inside and it's a totally separate menu. So they start you off with some chips, salsa, guacamole, and black bean sauce. And the chips are a little bit spicy, but you can also ask for an off menu item, the habanero sauce, very spicy, be very careful with that. We tried the Viva Mexico Agua Chili. That was really light and refreshing. Love the avocado. I got the Caesar salad, which was Pretty massive, as you can see, a lot of lettuce, a lot of cheese, a lot going on. I would have ordered a half portion had I known it would be this size because they ended up having to change my main, which was the Ala Diabla Mussels. Of course, comes with some rustic bread to soak up that lovely sauce. Uh, they gave me a smaller portion. It was only about 10 pieces, which was just perfect for me. If you want more, you can always ask. It's a Hyatt. I mean, they'll take care of you. Um, we also tried the seafood casserole, and that was mussels mahi-mahi, shrimp and clams, and it came in a nice semi-spicy red sauce. It was delicious. They also have these pop-up food carts, and these are either inside or outside, depending on what's happening with the weather. And they changed in variety every day. So on this particular day, they had a bucket full of beers, as well as scallops and fresh oysters, which were absolutely delicious, just help yourself. And then they also had a soup available, as well as this changed every day. They would have either burgers, or today they had chicken. And they also had a taco station, so beef, chicken, or pork and of course the ever famous churros, which everybody loves. Now, I don't know if this is normal, but they had paella or paella there almost every day. I think every day that we were there, and it varied each day in terms of what seafood they added to it. The rice was absolutely delicious. On this particular day, they had large prawns with it. In this one, it was more scallops and shrimp and prawns. And in this one, you can see they've got more mussels and calamari. And another day where they had tacos going on, beef, pork, chicken, as well as they had turkey sandwiches, which was right after Christmas, so it was absolutely perfect. And then they had some cheese sauce to go with the taco chips, as well as some soup and some ceviche fresh. Now this day they were doing a fish grill, so they had all kinds of varieties of stuff, cooked to order, and accoutrements. And they had some shrimp cocktails, just to be a little bit different. And no meal would be complete without a churro to go with it. And we actually ate at the Capri Grill twice. This is the Italian restaurant, it's indoors. We started off with the fennel and orange salad, very light and refreshing. And then the veal osso buco. Now the only complaint that we could give with this is that it doesn't come with a bone in, but it was just so tender and delicious. The 
beef tenderloin is normally eight ounces. I didn't want that much, so I just said, look, can you gas the chef to find the smallest piece of meat possible, which he did, which was perfect for me. And then we also had the New York steak another night, and that was cooked to perfection, very tender and delicious. I had the pappardelle a fungi, which is wild mushroom sauce, garlic, and truffle oil, and it was absolutely delightful. Highly recommend this. We ate at the sushi restaurant once. Um, there is a teppanyaki section, there's a regular section a la carte, and then there's the sushi section. You actually sit at a sushi bar. So we ordered a bunch of tuna and salmon sashimi as well as the chef's special sashimi, which comes with truffle oil on top of it. Again, not overpowering, he's just adding it now. Just a nice extra special flavor to it. And it was actually a really good sized portion. We did actually ask for some extra tuna and salmon sashimi afterwards. Living in Vancouver, we get fresh salmon and sushi is amazing. And this was top quality, 100%. It melted in your mouth. It was the perfect bite. Very delicious. Highly recommend this. Lola's was one of the nicest places to eat for dinner. It is open air, so just be aware that it can be a bit breezy if it's a chilly day, so bring a sweater. But it is very pretty with all the lights at the resort. The pool was lit up, so it's a really beautiful place to sit and enjoy your dinner. Now again, they start out with the taco chips with guac, salsa, and black bean sauce. But this time we knew right away to ask for the habanero salsa so that we could add that to our chips and our, the rest of our meal. This is the chill pacholi soup, which is corn soup with shrimp, mussels, and squid. It's a little bit on the heavier side, so do bear that in mind, but a lovely rich taste to it. I ordered the grilled beef filet, which used to be called the beef with red sauce. Now we're already seeing a bit of a menu change here, which is pretty standard at any resort. The size was normally two five ounce pieces. I asked if they could just do the half order. So I got one piece, which was five ounces, which was absolutely enough for me. Again, you might want more. Ask for double if that's what you want. It's absolutely no problem, but it was absolutely delicious. Probably the most tender piece of beef I have ever eaten in my life. One of us also tried the beef marrow, which comes with Mexican sausage and corn tortillas. So you can put it all together. I didn't try that myself because I'm not quite as adventurous. He thoroughly enjoyed it, and it's quite a unique item, so a little bit on the rich side, bear that in mind, but definitely a very unique item to see on a menu, so give it a whirl. So of my favorite things, you know, the ice cream, the gelato was really incredible. Um, the chocolate was my favorite flavor. So I decided to try the chocolate gelato. Never had gelato before. Hmm. Wow, that is so rich. Okay, this is on my danger list because it's too good. Don't have this until the last day here, otherwise you might not fit back on the plane. Uh, but there were lots of savory items that I really enjoyed as well. At breakfast, it was the sausages. Oh my goodness, those were delicious and really hard to not have every day. Um, also, the churros were absolutely amazing as far as meals go. At lunch, basically almost every day, they had this massive pot of paella, and it was um, brought out multiple times. So they pre-cook it in the kitchen, and then they keep refilling it. So it wasn't just one and done. The beef filet at Lola's was absolutely amazing. But the other one that I really enjoyed is the pasta with truffle. Now, this isn't the truffle pasta which has an extra charge this was pasta with truffle and i don't want it to be like truffle in your face but this was nice and subtle and really delicious and it's included in the menu so i say definitely give it a try but really everything was great here and uh, definitely worth checking it out so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and we'll see you on the next one